Baristas, Gavinites, wow! We are overwhelmed by the response to our first ever video blog, or vlog as they're calling it these days. I have never received so many emails in my life. I have to say, Alex and I find it quite validating. We were a little hesitant to so publicly air our Jesse Gav obsession, but now we know we're in great company. Per a request by Sarah Knowles of Berkeley, California. Hi, Sarah. She's a brand spanking new member of our Jesse Gav family. I'm going to give a very quick lesson on how to craft your very own hair doll. For supplies, you will need two bobby pins and you will need to collect a wad of hair, as I have done. As many of you probably know, I have religiously been visiting City Hall and extracting these hairs from the welcome mat there, quite frankly risking life and limb because the armed security guard is very aware of my presence. Step one, take the hair that you've gathered. Ideally, when balled together, it should be about the size of a ping pong ball. And you're going to want to divide it into four groups, as I'm doing here. It's a little difficult, but here. As you can see, I have three wads of hair. Step two, take one of the bobby pins, take one of your four wads of hair, and you're going to want to pull it apart and separate it so that it's one thick but long wad of hair, like so. Then you are going to slip it into your bobby pin. So, it should look something like this. Then, you are going to start wrapping it around the head of the bobby pin, creating the head of your hair doll. Step three, take your second bobby pin and take your second wad of hair and do the same as you did with that first wad of hair. You're going to want to stretch it out, stretch it out, and then you're going to do just as you did with the first bobby pin. You're going to slip it into the bobby pin, like so, and then you're going to wrap it around the bobby pin. But this time, you don't want to have it gather at the top. You want to distribute it evenly. But once you get to the center of the bobby pin, you're going to stop. What you're doing right now is you're creating an arm. Step four, take your first bobby pin and your second bobby pin, slip the second bobby pin into the first bobby pin, creating a cross like so. Step five, then you're going to take the hair remaining from that first limb that you've created and you're going to continue wrapping it around so that you've created the other arm. Step six, take another wad of hair and stretch it out as we've done before. And then you're going to simply wrap it along the remaining length of that bobby pin. And you're done. So now, hopefully you have your very own hair doll. But it does warrant mentioning that while anyone can make a hair doll, not everyone has Jesse Gav hair. And as I mentioned before, we only have Jesse Gav hair because I've risked life and limb. Remember, Katsopolistas and Gavinites, soon enough we will be selling legitimate Jesse Gav hair dolls. That means hair dolls made of Jesse Gav hair. No other blog can promise you that.